Now that the basic setup is complete on your Invisio Pro, we can move on to reviewing a couple optional settings you should know about. The first is smoothing, which can be found on the yield menu. It is a setting used to reduce fluctuations in the yield information that is displayed on the screen. The default time is 3 seconds, but you can adjust the time lower to see more changes in the yield data, or higher to see fewer changes. Another setting on the yield menu is the off percent. This setting controls what percentage of a section must be in a previously applied area before AccuHeader reduces the header width. Just know that the system will not physically stop the header section, it just removes its width from the yield calculation. The Moisture Legend menu is a place to control what your as harvested or coverage map looks like in relation to the moisture percentage of the crop. Simply set your minimum and maximum moisture ranges and the Invisio Pro will take care of the rest. The darker the color, the higher the moisture. Take note that you may need to adjust these min and max values during harvest operations. Like the Moisture Legend, the Yield Legend allows you to adjust the minimum and maximum values your as harvested map paints. You may also need to adjust these settings during harvest operation. Once these values are set, they will be stored with the crop type and can be reused for harvesting the same type of crop later on. In order to properly record yield data, each crop that will be harvested needs to be set up on the Invisio Pro. Raven has set up the most common crops that you may use, but some of these settings may require changing from time to time. To set up your first crop, Select the crop type as shown on the screen. You can also create a custom crop type if yours is not listed. While the standard density value should probably not be changed, the working density will need to be adjusted properly and frequently. To find your working density, just fill up the test weight scale with harvested crop, level it off, adjust the slide until it balances, and enter that value into the working density. You will want to check crop density frequently to ensure your yield data is accurate, and please note that adjusting the crop density does not correct or adjust previous data collected. Next, we'll take a look at the moisture settings in the crop configuration. The moisture settings menu lets you know that the moisture sensor is working as long as we see values registered in the moisture gain that are between 1 and 10. The sensor status should also read enabled. Back on the crop configuration menu, we also have storage moisture, which is preloaded for each crop with a standard moisture percentage. Your dry bushels are calculated from this value, so use extreme care when changing this and make sure you understand the impact. To set the proper header cutout height for the crop you will be harvesting, first press the header height button from the crop configuration menu, then just raise the header to the maximum cut height you need and press the set cutout height button. If you are using an automatic header height control feature, the cutout height should be just below the up position for the header. Once this value is set, yield and area data will be disabled if the header is raised above this level. Now that we have things installed and set up, we're ready to get into a job. Stop back for the next video on the Raven Smart Yield Pro Harvest System and we'll show you how. Thanks.